Mukbang, mukbang, mukbang. Hi everybody. I'm back with another video. Happy St. Patrick's Day. All of Becca, Becca in the kitchen, fair game of banks. 2021, we gonna have some fun in 2021. So you guys, I couldn't figure out what I was gonna have. And I apologize for it being super late or super early. Whatever it is, whatever it is, it won't let me hold my peace. Hey, sorry guys, uh, I felt that that was for somebody. But anyway, it's gotten super late and uh, now I'm really, really super hungry. But um, production was here. Uh, happy St. Patty's Day. <laughs> happy St. Patty's Day, darling. Happy St. Patty's Day. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about St. Patty's Day in a minute. I just want to get my food continuously Laid it up here. Gonna go right underneath and cut myself off just a bit. Hold on. There we go. We got. Okay, we got. Oh, we got ankle. Look at us. Oh, oh. How we? How we gonna do that? Oh, let's see how we. Okay. Yeah, they didn't tell me how to do it exactly. They just said you'd be able to do it, but uh, I'm gonna just do it the way it looks like it's gonna be okay for me to do. Uh, what we have here tonight is okay. Show you about that. What we have tonight. It's uh, salmon, some American mashed potatoes, but we what we call as Irish people champ, C H A M P, and that champ would be mashed potatoes with the green onions and milk and butter and cheese. Well, so far I made them, of course you guys know I don't do butter, but you do know I do cheese. Uh, I use some uh, herbs and chive cheese in those potatoes, and um, of course I use almond milk and ghee for the butter and the scallions I forgot to bring over but they were mixed in but I didn't mix them in mine but I will get them and throw them on top because it's late I'm sure you guys won't mind if I take off and come right back Becca Boos! How you my Becca Boos? I got an intro for y'all just, just for you late people right let me see. I got a nice intro for y'all. Hold on, though. Let me go get those scallions. I got to make sure I keep my eye on them so that way I won't just be getting up for naught. Okay? All right. I'll be right back, you guys. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I said I'll be right back. You know I'll be right back. But what I'm not going to do is run around. I should have had these scallions down. But here I am now, and I apologize for running off. I'm back, Becca Boos. But look, I wonder if y'all going to mind if I do a little intro for y'all. I just thought it would be funny 
you know, you know, some things aren't funny. Scallions. Let's see me with the food. Okay. Well, I'll have to bring it down a little bit. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, down, down. I don't know if we could all get in here, but we're going to try. Okay, let's do a thumbnail. Let's raise it up a little bit. Hey, guys. Hi. Hey, guys. Hi, Irish people. I got a lot to say about what happened. But anyway, here's the thumbnail. Um, so, that's right, that's right. It's all on me now. It's all on me. I don't know how that came about. It got round in the back for a minute, huh? <laughs> So, um, <clears throat> what I learned earlier, let me say a, a prayer. I'll, I'll do another thumbnail. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hi, everybody. Hi, all the Irish people that came here and went to uh, New Orleans and died there in the levee. Hi, all of my relatives and ancestors. Hi. How are you? This is for the Irish people. It's salmon, uh, champ. This is champ, and this is coleslaw. I'll talk about it in a minute. Father God, we want to thank you right now for the food, for the nourishment of our body, for Christ's sake. Amen. Amen, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, amen. Now I'ma do I'ma do my I'ma do my intro. Okay, don't y'all get mad. Hi my back boos <laughs> Okay, alright. Hi my back boos <laughs> Prayer game, mug page. <laughs> Becca in the kitchen. All uh, Becca B I T K. <laughs> yeah, y'all. Uh, y'all see, I got this on. I'm representing the Irish tonight with the, you know, the hair and everything. But y'all know I don't be liking this hair, and y'all know, y'all don't know, is what could happen in the process of this video. But there's a shamrock on that side of me. What? Where's the shamrock? Shamrock is uh, over there. And uh, that's a representation. My green jacket and my wig is a representation of uh, the times and of um, the Irish. So now I'm going to dig right in because it's midnight after midnight. Hey, we going to let it all hang out. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see it at all though? I think we got something here. Mm-hmm. The Irish, they ate salmon as a delicacy. And although They lived on the island. They didn't take advantage of the sea. Well, I found out the reason they didn't take advantage of the sea is because the British had bigger vessels. And so the British went on over and took over all or most of the good sea commercial sea uh, work and living. So the Irish were poor and they were enslaved. And being enslaved they came to 
to the, the best way that they could to the states. This is the Irish. A lot of them died on the levee. And I always wondered why they said the Irish had that wild look in their eye. And when I think about it, I could I basically see that wild, like, looks like a, like, like, like a, a, a like an animal look in their eye. Like they've been drinking all the time, but maybe they hadn't been drinking all the time. They caught a lot of diseases and everything getting here. And then they left their families. A lot of them was just left. The families, the wives, the children, just, just left on the docks of the bay. Good God, it was hard to imagine for me. And although I know my heritage and that part of my heritage uh, as a black American was that we were on those docks before the Irish and the Irish came and they multiplied took over the docks, died, lived, died, swore on the docks and they also fought fought on the docks, they fought in unity, the Irish. And when I say in unity, what I mean is they fought together uh, as groups. And the people that they were fighting fought back, but they were not in a group. So, needless to say, the blacks were outnumbered in those docks and mistreated and fought and beat down. And that's what happened when the Irish came. To the United States from Ireland. They were enslaved as we were, but they fought us, blacks. One of the dishes that they made was called champs, although it's potatoes that look like that, although the potatoes were their famine. That's why they left and came here. They thought that they could grow potatoes in the fields, but they couldn't because of the soil that they put together. Yeah. It didn't work out. So they migrated. 
and they died. But I noticed a lot of Europeans migrated and died. Like all the ships that were lost. I mean, I read about the Titanic. And not only did I read about the Titanic, I went to see uh, a display of a part of the actual Titanic. Uh, it's in a museum in downtown Las Vegas on the Strip. And what it tells you about, and all the things that I see, the, the trinkets that were left over, the plates and the knives and perfumes and all this stuff. Barbers and hosiery and well, I've said that to say, imagine the many ships the Europeans tried to travel to the states on, and the ships sank. Too much, too much, late night, right? Happy St. Patty's Day. Well, like I said, the Irish don't judge, but this is Wellness Wednesday. And a tip for you is that the Irish ate salmon as a delicacy. They never, or they rarely took part of maintaining that seed like the British and the other Europeans came and coming in with the bigger vessels. I don't know why. But right now to this day, uh, when the salmon swim appeal in Ireland in a certain spot, you can get a reservation to go down and throw your line. Wow. Someday I'd like to go down and throw my line out, stand out there on the rocks with my boots on, and throw the line out to uh, see if I could catch a salmon. Wouldn't that be fantastic? Well, I think so anyway. I'm sorry. I didn't know how to get y'all no food tonight. It's really late, but I know somebody getting out from work and they need some salmon and some coleslaw. Spilt a little bit on my book. Mmm. <laughs> well, what we can do is we can blame the Irish for building the roads and the bridges and the overpasses and canals, beautiful canals. What those suckers did was what the Mexicans do. 
they get to building and they just get building in their heart. They can't stop. It's kind of like me with some things. I get in my heart, I can't stop. But I hope you guys, my intention was somebody, for somebody to come into the room with me, have some food with me, learn something from me. I just didn't know all these things I said about the Irish. I had to research some of them. But what I do know is that I had a, a, a guy, I didn't have him, but I knew, I, know, I knew of a guy named Patrick Devine who is of the Irish descent, who was a very, 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 nice person I cannot well he was a former, former boss of mine you know if he was bad I could you know just say you know but oh my god this was one of the most wonderful people I've ever known other than the, the guy that he that preceded him or he preceded Bob Smith anyway I wonder if those guys are still fishing every year. <laughs> well, Bob and Pat, if y'all see me eating salmon, coleslaw, and champ, and talking smack on St. Patty's Day, that's what I do now. Now, Bob, you say you was doing some woodworking. I wonder if I could ever run across any of those woodworking pieces that you done. I wonder if you ever became the mayor. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to say that in Ireland, there's a lot of day like this. So in the during the season, there's 16 hours of daylight, and they have breathtaking views in Ireland. Beautiful beaches in Ireland, uh, but the ground wasn't fertile, and they tried to make a mix, and that's how the famine came with the potatoes that they planted. They planted those. So, I hope y'all like my, uh... <laughs> hey. I really enjoyed being on here tonight late like this. Uh, I'm going to go back here and relax now, y'all. And I, I just thank God and I praise him for y'all coming into the room. Becca Booze, all up Becca, back in the kitchen. Thank you so much. Happy St. Patty's Day, you guys. I love you. And you, 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 and you. Okay? Now, I'm going to have to say goodnight, okay? Good night. Bye.